This lesson will start with the setting which allows us to hide the following area, which is called breadcrumbs. And this area usually contains all those folders that lead to currently open file in the editor. Or depending on the file which is currently open, for example in this case if I open the file with extension HTML, we can see that this breadcrumbs area shows the structure of this document. And we can navigate between different elements of this document by simply clicking on individual elements. But since I never use this element, I prefer to completely hide it. So let's go back to our configuration file and the option to hide breadcrumbs is called breadcrumbs enabled with the value false. And as we can see breadcrumbs are gone now. Next let's try to move the file in the sidebar in a different folder. And as we can see we have this confirmation dialog, so we have to confirm our action. But I prefer not to be asked for this confirmation anytime I move files around in the sidebar. So I'm going to use the option called confirm drag and drop with the value false. And now I can drag files easily without being asked for confirmation. The next option is also relevant to confirmation, but this time this confirmation box appears after we are trying to delete some file. So let's also try to get rid of this confirmation box by specifying the following option. Explorer confirm delete with the value false. And now I can also delete files without being asked for confirmation. The next option we're going to review is also related to the sidebar. For example, I'm going to create here a folder admin, which will not contain any files. So instead it will contain another folder pages, which will have only one file. And as we can see by default, VS Code displays folders with no files in one row separated by slash. But I prefer to always have those folders displayed in a normal way. So I would disable this behavior. And to do so, we need to specify this option. It is called compact folders and we will disable it. So now all folders are shown in the same way, regardless of whether they contain any files or not. The next option we're going to review is related to source control management system. My currently open project is initialized with git repository. So if I'm going to make some changes, for example, inside of index.html file, in the sidebar, I can see that this letter M appears next to the file we have just modified. In my case, I'm going to hide this indicator. So let's specify an option git.decorations.enabled and the value will be false. And as we can see, that indicator is gone. But those indicators are not only shown in the sidebar. For example, let's go back to index.html and remove this line. So right now we can see git related indicators are shown on the left as well as in this scroll bar area. And since I prefer to use a separate application to review all my source control changes, I'm going to disable all those indicators. And to disable those visual indicators, there is an option with the name scm.divdecorations with the value none. And this way, as we can see, none of the decorations are shown. The next setting allows us to automatically add empty line at the end of the file after saving. And since many programming languages have such convention that every file should end with an empty line, I prefer to activate this option. It is called insert final new line. The next option is called extensions.ignore recommendations. And this option allows us to disable some notifications related to extensions that VS Code sometimes recommends, depending on what kind of files we are usually working with. I prefer to not see those recommendations, so I'm going to disable this option. And finally, for me it's pretty convenient whenever all files I'm working with are saved automatically. And there is an option in VS Code which allows us to automatically save files after some delay. So I'm going to use an option called Auto Save and develop after delay. So after a little delay the files will be automatically saved. 
and I don't need to save them manually all the time. So these were all the options I wanted to review in this lesson. Let's keep reviewing other options in the next one.